Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking to you from one of the many gardens that I have here around my house. And I wanted to talk to you today about zucchinis. This is usually the perfect time to pick a zucchini when they're nice and small, tender. You can eat them raw, spiralize them, you can add them into the salad, you can steam them. Whatever type of dish you wanna make, you can make with a zucchini when it's the perfect size, which is about six to eight inches long. But if you have been super busy or just enjoying the beautiful warm weather and you've maybe neglected your zucchini plant for a week or two, you can come back to one of these. <laughs> this is an overgrown zucchini. It's also known as a marrow. The outer skin is super tough. There's quite a few large seeds inside and the flesh has changed from being nice and tender to stringy, a little bit hard and quite waterlogged. Now, most people will go ahead and just compost this if they, you know, if they have animals or something, they'll maybe feed it to them, but for me, I wanted to show you guys how you can still use this fruit to feed your family. And we are gonna be heading into the kitchen so I can show you how to do just that. Every year I am absolutely amazed by how productive zucchini plants really are. It seems like as soon as you have picked your first perfect zucchini, you are like overrun with it for week after week. If you're like me, life gets pretty busy. And this is especially true in the peak of summer when you just wanna get out and soak up some sun before the first crisp promises fall arrives. So if you've let your zucchini plant do its thing unattended for even a week or two, then you can be sure to come back to some absolutely huge zucchini fruits. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one way to use that zucchini fruit, but I'm also gonna be linking a full blog post down below, which is gonna have amazing recipes for you to use. So this recipe is going to be for a stuffed zucchini, but there are so many more ways to use those huge zucchinis. You can use them in sweet recipes like zucchini breads and muffins. And of course you can use them in more savory recipes like ratatouille or zucchini fritters. All of the recipes in this post are going to be vegan, of course, so I really hope you check it out and you can find something that is going to be perfect for your family. So I want to show you guys how you can safely cut a large zucchini. The best way to cut a large zucchini is to first cut off the ends. Then we're going to go ahead and cut the entire marrow in half lengthwise. Once we've gone ahead and done this step, we're gonna remo remove a lot of the large seeds and the pulp that you see here from the center. So if you are only growing one type of squash this year in your garden and that squash is the zucchini, you can absolutely save these seeds. The reason why I say it's important to grow only one type of squash if you're saving the seeds is because squash will actually cross pollinate with each other. So in my garden, I have a variety of squash this year. I have zucchini, I have yellow crookneck, I have delicata, I have buttercup squash, all sorts of different guys. And they are all planted really close together because I do not have the space that I wish I did to grow a huge garden. Um, and so that means that I am not gonna be saving these zucchini seeds because I just know, don't really know what I'm gonna get next year when I go ahead and plant them. It would kind of be a fun experiment to find out, but for next year, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the seeds that I purchased. You can actually still eat these seeds though if you wanted to, similar to like a pumpkin seed. You can definitely roast them up with a bit of salt. That would be super delicious and it's a good way to use up, um, use up the pulp or use up the seeds. So how do we even prevent zucchinis from becoming overgrown in the first place? Honestly, the best way to prevent your zucchini from becoming overgrown is to just pick them when they are small and to pick them often. However, because the zucchini plant is so productive, it can be a challenge keeping up with it. You can definitely give them away to friends and family and neighbors. However, pretty soon they might have more than they can use as well. So some other ways that you can preserve your zucchini is you can absolutely pickle it. You can pickle zucchini the same way that you do cucumbers and it's super delicious. You don't even have to can your pickles. They stay good in the fridge for a couple months at least. You can also blanch and freeze your abundance to be used in stir fries maybe throughout the winter or soups or stews. So for my stuffed zucchini recipe, guys, it's not, um, it, I haven't actually even created a recipe. I'm just using what I have available to me in the fridge. So you see, I've got some brown rice here. I'm gonna combine that with some lentils that I've already cooked. You can use canned lentils here too. And then I'm gonna use up the rest of my salsa in this jar. So for measurements, I would say it's about a cup and a half of brown rice to maybe a cup and a half of uh, cooked brown lentils, and then about half a cup 
or so of salsa. That's all I'm adding to this and it turned out super delicious. I was super happy with it. So you're just gonna mix it all together in a bowl. So in order to bake our zucchini, I'm gonna be using a super large baking dish. I'm going to be laying them flat in the baking dish and I'm going to be adding maybe half an inch or so of water just to make sure that the steam is created in the oven to make sure that the zucchini cooks all the way through. So here I'm just going to be filling up my zucchini with the stuffing that we've created. And for an extra special treat, I'm going to go ahead and add some vegan cheese. This one is my favorite. It's by Dea, and it's a farmer's block cheese. It's the Monterey Jack flavor. They also have a couple other flavors. I think there's a smoked Gouda, and I believe there's a cheddar as well, and those are both really good. I just prefer the mild flavor of the Monterey Jack. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into a preheated oven. Guys, I'd recommend uh, baking this at about 375. When I had shot this video, I baked it at 350 and it was just slightly underdone after about 45 minutes. So I would probably bump it up to about 375. And did you know that you can actually eat zucchini flowers? If your plants are producing way more than you can handle or share, go ahead and indulge in this delicacy. You can use the flowers to hold a stuffing, like I'm going to show you here, of rice, lentils, and veggies, or even just fry them up like you would the full zucchini fruit. The cooking time is going to be a little bit less when you use the flowers because they are quite delicate, but they are such a treat. You want your zucchini to be fork tender? And then you're just going to be super careful and transfer it over to a cutting board and you're going to slice it up to be served. This makes a really nice light dinner. You can go ahead and pair this with maybe some potatoes, uh, a nice garden salad, even with like a nice side dish of pasta. I think that'd be really delicious. Guys, don't forget to check that blog post out down below for some even more savory and super sweet recipes to use with your overgrown zucchini. As you can see in my video here, I do have a second <laughs> overgrown zucchini, and so I am gonna be using that to pickle. I'm gonna be doing some uh, garlic dill pickles as well as some sweet pickles with my zucchini. And I'll probably also go ahead and shred some up and make a really nice chocolate zucchini loaf. And again, links for all of that will be down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you soon in the next one. Got tired of the chase. I've been feeling like lately. There's nothing in the way.